Alrighty, welcome everybody. Um, I mean, there's quite a few um, YMAP and XML tutorials out there, but the plan with this video is to make it uh, basically the only XML and YMAP tutorial that you are going to ever need. So I'm going to try to have a lot of input in the shortest amount of time. So if after this video there's any questions remaining, option one is to go to my Discord. I will link it in the video description below. Um, open up a ticket and ask there, or just basically rewatch the video I'm making right now. Um, yup. I will also have an outline in the video description um, with the dependencies you need, the download links, etc. etc. Alright, so the first thing that I want to make clear is how your server structure is looking, basically. So. This is your Red M server, right? You basically want to know where your resources folder is and where your resources config is located. This is your resources config. This is basically where all your resources are being insured. Um, yeah, yup. So what I suggest you do is you make a folder in those brackets, right? I don't know what they are called, but they brick brackets. You want to have a folder called maps mapster, whatever you want to call it, and um, this one right here. This is the folder we're going to put all your maps into, right? I have a bunch of maps in here, and they are all being insured by this one folder, mapster, because there's the uh, brackets around there. All right, so this is what you're going to do first, and then you're going to insure that folder. This is the folder we're going to put all your maps into, right? Okay, awesome. Um, number two. So, okay, number two is basically having all your dependencies that you are going to find in the video description, which is Spooner, this program right here. You can open up uh, Spooner with the delete key or the uh, Spooner command, slash Spooner. Um, if you press H, you will have all your uh, stuff that you need, so I'm not going to go too much in depth on uh, how to control Spooner, right? Okay, so... What you're also going to find in the video description is a placeholder for your XMLs and your YMAPs. Um, yeah, let's go over the folder structures. YMAPs, okay? So, YMAP folders are going to look like this. They're going to have a manifest with the um, FX version, the game and the game warning, which every resource needs. And then they're going to have a this is a map yes line, you don't need it but don't quote me on that, so basically just add it in there if it's not already. Um, this is your FX manifest for your YMAP, and then you will have a stream folder in which all your YMAPs are going. Alright? Okay. So with the XML folder, it's a little bit different, um, because in the manifest, it looks a little bit different, you will also need a dependency object loader and you will need uh, files and object loader maps. So if I'm going to add in a new XML, I'm basically I will have to add these uh, this line into files and object loader maps as well. Okay. The other difference between those XMLs and YMAP folders are that with XMLs you will have the XML in the same folder as the manifest and uh, with YMAPs you will have the YMAPs in the stream folder, right? This is basically the structure, the dependencies, object loader and spooner, as I said before. Um, I will have those linked in the video description below. Alright. So, this is basically how you would add your um, your YMAPs and XMLs that you have downloaded into your uh, server resources. Let's say, for example, this is a free map I've made. It's a big valley house. It has an exterior and an interior. Now, another thing, the differences, right? Um, XMLs, you don't really want to use them a lot um, because they are not that friendly on the performance if you have a lot of them but you would use them for three use cases. So one of the use cases are interiors. So let's say you want to put something into the 
Amadeo Saloon. It's an interior, right? So if you want to add something in here, um, you would have to use XML files. So let's say I want to uh, I want to add a Christmas tree in here, right? Just place it somewhere. Use case number two is trees and greenery if it's not potted plants. So let's search for the oak. Um, this one right here. Trees for those he will also need an XML. And the last use case are object deletes, right? Make sure that before you delete an object um, you have uh, the save load deletions ticked. Whoops. All right. So this, these are the three use cases for XML files. If you want to export your XML, press J, import export. Take uh, use uh, map editor XML, press export. Uh, copy all the stuff. This is your uh, your XML that you have made just now. Um, Right, let's let's go into the placeholder that you will find in the description. Um, open it up, paste all your stuff in there. These are the four objects you just deleted. These are the uh, two objects you just made, the tree and the Christmas tree. You can also add in uh, a map creator, but you don't need to, of course. All right, now what you want to make sure though is that the exact name of your XML is also in your FX manifest. This is something a lot of people miss. All right. Great. Now for Y maps, the name doesn't really matter because you don't have to put it into your manifest. Um, not the use case for Y map is basically everything else. So everything you place outside that is not a tree or greenery, um, you would use um, Y maps for. So let's place down a table. Um, and put like uh, a whiskey on there. Um, I like this one, this one looks pretty cool. Right, so this is basically how you would do it. Now press J, import export. Oh, actually, let's before we do that because we've just did I delete the other stuff? Yeah, I did. Okay. Now we have only the table and the whiskey in here. I pressed X to check that. Press Y, import export, Y map, boom, one item, two item. These are the two objects we placed. Control A, Control uh, C for copy. Call your Y map. Whatever you want. Put your stuff in here and these are the two objects. Alright. Now, let's say you also want to place down a door, right? Because you want the door to be openable, this is possible with Y maps. Let's say you make your own house somewhere out of uh, Y map objects. You place down a door. Um, you go ahead and export it. Um, open up your YMAP, paste it in there. And then you go ahead and use this code right here on the door flag value, right? So as you can see, it's different from the rest. It's this code right here. I'm gonna paste it in the video description as well. So um, after you've saved that one, put it into your Mapster folder. Um, or in your resource, basically, then it should be openable, or it should open um, if you uh, go to it. Right. So this is basically how you make your own YMAP, how you make your own XML, what the use cases are, and where to put them. As I said, if there's any more questions, uh, just rewatch the video, check out the video description, or visit my Discord and ask uh, us there. Alrighty. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.